Hello everyone, my name is Mara Kishlario and I'm a team leader analytics at BD Provider and also a Tableau certified consultant. And today I would like to show you how to create a pagination in Tableau. So what can we do with this pagination and why should we know how to do this? In many situations in our uh, data sources, we may have one field that will have a large number of values in it. So the final user would find it difficult to see all the values at the same time and to compare all the values in that field at the same time. More than that, I would say that this uh, implementation will help us with the size that our sheet will take into a dashboard. So let's start doing this by creating our visualization. And I will drag the field city to the rows because city will have many values that will help us demonstrate why pagination is useful. I will then drag the sales over the columns. And more than that, I would like to add also the profit in my visualization, but I would like the profit to be on the same axis as the sales. So I will drag the profit over the axis of the sales in my visualization. In this moment, I have profit and sales showed, but I cannot find it easy to compare the sales of one city to the sales to other city. So I will move my measure names to the columns. And now I see that they uh, are easily to be, to be compared. So let's start implementing our pagination. The first thing to do is to create two parameters. The first parameter that I will create will be named group number. This parameter will tell me on what page I am when I show the values. So it should be data type of integer. I will keep it on current value to be one, but I will change the allowable values to be range as to set the minimum of this parameter. So the minimum would be the first page. After I created my first parameter, I should go to create my second parameter that I will name size of group. This parameter will tell me how many members are in each page. So I will put it the same on integer and let's say that I would like to have 50. 15 members of each page. Okay. Now it's the time to start creating our calculated fields. So the first calculated field that I will need to create would be named index. And of course, it will use the index function. Okay, and then I will create my last calculated field that will be named group filter. And the formula that I will need here would be as follows. So I will use the index that we just created and I need to make sure that this will be less or equal to group number, our first parameter, multiplied by size of group. <clears throat> but I will also need, so we'll do an end, <clears throat> that my index would be greater than group number multiplied by size of group and then subtracting size of group. This will be our formula. Once created, we can drag it over the filters shelf. And after doing this, I will find that I have only two values and that of course would be true or false. So, I will select to have true in my visualization and I will see that now I have 15 rows and that 
the first city is my first city in the data source. So I will go sharing, showing my parameters with the users. And more than that, I would like to color a little bit my visualization. So I will drag the measure values on color in the marks shelf. Of course, I will need to use separate legends because profit can be negative while the sales will not have these values. And now let's test our pagination. Let's go to page two and see what happens. Basically, in this moment, I can see that my values from city changed. I can see the next values in line. And let's say that I want now to increase my size of group and do a 30 members page. Now I can see that I have 30 rows and I'm on the second page. Let's go back to the first page and see if I see again the first city. And there it is. This is the way we liked to show you how to create a pagination in Tableau. I hope this will be useful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us and thank you very much for your time.